Hello, and welcome back to the final episode here of Tell Me Why. Let's do it. Let's see if I can take Xbox Live, which, you know, I kind of have to be if I'm streaming. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. All right. Allison, wake up. Interesting. Kill me, okay. You oh, you killed me. <laughs> you will end up like me, what? Can I move here? No. Oh. That's not me on top of the stairs. <laughs> You killed me! <laughs> 
What? <laughs> sure, alright. Oh, there are chapter names. I cannot find those online. Oh well. Another copyrighted song. Oh man. I mean, it's gotta be for putting on a record player and have lyrics in the background. Because we have to start every episode like this. Because this is the best way to do everything here, you know. They got bought, bought up Microsoft and I got to show how much of a budget they have. <laughs> I guess even in before then, I mean, they were just the Ubisoft studio, um. They had Sid Meier's flight in the first game, and that was a very copyright-heavy song, apparently. I don't actually know, I didn't upload those that I played through that game yet. And we'll see if I do at some point. I want to do the Port of the Storm game as well. We'll see if I ever end up doing that. I've been saying that for, what, six months now? But, you know, it's fine. At least not a don't not game finally. <laughs> and yes, I am just gonna constantly talk until the song's over. Because, you know, that's how YouTube works. And I wouldn't care if it was just we're just gonna take the ad revenue from the video, because there is no ad revenue in this video. <laughs> there isn't any. But if it's again like it was the first one that was, hey, remove the song or um no one can watch this video ever. It's like, okay, thanks YouTube. <laughs> I, I don't think anybody's watching this for that one song, but you know, that's fine. That, that little two minute clip there is good enough reason why no one chilled to watch the video. Because clearly, this entire three hour playthrough was just so, you know, Chloe over there could listen to the two minutes of a licensed song, you know. Uh YouTube is a terrible platform. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Alright. So we're back in our original room. Morning, I started collecting documents for me for rent application, left the file for you downstairs kitchen table. You're stuck on a meat, D for lunch, and drop the documents, some copper's for you, take it easy, Uncle Eddie. Alright. So, downstairs, get your counter. Cool. He's right. Time to get my shit together. Yep. Wait, hold on. Well, no, it doesn't work. Okay. I was gonna say. Cause it kind of does, but it doesn't. All right. Cause yeah, like you can't put mirrors in a video game for some reason. I don't know why that's happened, and I've just seen this mirror, and it works. I gotta so, take care of that rental. What? <laughs> so you've... What? <laughs> no, that... That works. I don't know if it's completely accurate, but it's... Because I assume the way the mirror works here is that they've just got the C-Rod kit on the other side here. I'm controlling both characters on this side and that side. Because that's how most video games do it. 
And that's probably why this mirror doesn't work here. Because you can't really have a scene on the other side because it's an angled mirror. But alright, let's actually do I the um go check what Eddie left downstairs. In a bit. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. <laughs> uh alright. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Yeah, you could. Maybe later. Alright, fine. Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. I hit the A button, did I not? There she goes, alright. What the... What? I should probably eat something. Probably. I feel so weak. I need to get <laughs> paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus. I can't really eat anything right now. But, 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 but three seconds ago, you said you, you said you should probably eat something. Now you're like, nah. And then who made this for you? Is somebody living? Oh, this is. Wait, this isn't the same house, is it? No, it's definitely not. Then who made you pancakes or waffles? <laughs> Here's Whatever. the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. All right. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? It was ten years Fuck. ago. I've got to think of something <laughs> else. Focus. Yeah, no kidding. ID and pay stubs. Nah, I'm not gonna read that. Seems relevant. Lunch with D Wednesday. Even if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. Probably. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. I haven't had any time to sketch lately. I don't know where your ID would be. <laughs> oh, here we go, maybe. Ah, here's my there ID. There we go. Man. This place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? Huh. There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? Did I? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Your clan, eh? Are they also in clan wars too? Or are they also finishing failing to, to finish races? Like like the majority of stubs, Clash Royale clans? Eddie loved his Mishka so much. But it's fine, you know. All you need to do to... Allison, please. Do... I'm trying to talk about Clash Royale 2. Allison, <laughs> don't start. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. Ah, uh, Clash Royale 2, Clan Wars 2. God, that guy keeps interrupting me. Jeez. It's almost like I'm playing a story-based game or something. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I wish you remember where you put your pay stubs. <laughs> I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. 
I almost wish the house had burned down last night. Then I'd know what if I just packed a bag and left and never looked back. Do you not have like a filing cabinet? <laughs> he doesn't like this oh, kind of attention, no. but he really does so much for the community. All right. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. God, it feels like my head's full of screeching monkeys right now. What? I don't think they'd be in this room, to be honest, but... Oh, maybe. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. <laughs> Alright, cool. Is that not what we needed? Uh, current miner. I guess it's not. Okay, so it's just the court document for how he's got custody. All right. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Stop sulking. Well, find the pay stubs, young Tyler. Jeez. Or... This is. Yes, at that point, you're Ollie. Would they be in her room? Sure, we could try that. Can I take that say yes? To stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. <laughs> but you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> when? <laughs> what? Uh, what the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Here we go. God, where is it? Never mind. Okay. Here they are. Cool. I like how you kept that one piece of paper in that folder. Okay. I think I've got everything I need for the application. All right. Where's that Let's coming get out from? of here before you go crazy. Where did I Don't leave care. my phone last night? No, you idiot. That's upstairs. Still can't sprint. Who'd even be calling me? Maybe Tyler? Maybe something happened at the house. Another fire? Phone's definitely not up here. Ringing got quiet. Well, then where is it coming from? Is it outside? I don't think there's any reason my phone would have ended up here. I don't think so either, but... I guess it's down here. <laughs> you kill 
killed me. How could you do that? My dove. Only thieves and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Alice. What? <laughs> deal with you right now. Sounds like some of my right, but I don't see it. God, where is it? It's, it's definitely my right. Not here. No, no phone here. doing here there we go don't know don't care <laughs> hey D finally I was starting to get worried why didn't you pick up yeah uh, sorry I uh, I didn't have my phone on me okay well I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch yeah uh, yeah totally of course I'm getting ready right now that's so because it kind of sounds like I woke you up that's just how I sound but anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God. Yeah, we definitely could do that, but I don't know how. I've... All right, figure out how. <laughs> Well, you know, it's a good thing we're running late already. <laughs> All right. Who's at the door? Why is somebody at the door? Morning. Hey, Alan. Oh. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? I, uh, brought you <laughs> stuff from the office. You're a good oh, cool. worker. I think Tessa will come around when she's had a chance to clear her head. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is... Tyler not around today? Uh No, he's uh busy out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. <laughs> I really hope so. Yep. You know, so, Tessa down. told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Oh, yeah. If you're going to lecture me, save it. She had it coming. She went behind <laughs> Marianne's back. And almost got us killed. What she did had terrible consequences. Yeah. But I promise you, she was trying to help. And you have Besides, to believe that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent Not years wrong. blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, totally reasonable. 
Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean... Oh, does. Eddie. Okay, right. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh of course. I'll, I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. All right. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip? Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly spicy what Spicy chocolate digestion. bars. <laughs> sure. Why not? Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, good. Because I did not plan to. Tess has been venting nonstop about your fight. Seriously, bad vibes over there right now. I know the feeling. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm yeah, worried. Yeah, I made you. them before you woke up. Oh, that's cute. Just don't, don't worry a, about that. How that happened? Huge breakfast, so <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Of course. When I heard what happened, I knew the bitch's grotto had to go mobile. Guess I've got plenty of time to binge the last season of Witches of Eldom now that I'm fun employed. Wait till you see how they did Mabel. You're gonna rage quit just like I did. I don't know. I've got a lot of free time ahead of me. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. <laughs> We've got a plan. Yeah, there's only one episode left Allison. this game. And this is it. What's going on? I'll be stuck here forever. Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. It's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? Oh god. Allison? Oh, Allison, she's insane. Me. You okay? I'm just... Um, I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? Well, you see, I play the New England Patriots, and I'm just seeing all of the ghosts. They're just everywhere. Just, just that's just that's just the entire team. It's just ghosts. Everything. My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick, and and I've been seeing things. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has...
anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but well, yeah, I mean... nothing exactly like this. <laughs> Here, Allie. I hear you. Okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapy. Well, you're in town of like 12 people. They're all so far away and so expensive. Yeah. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. Nope. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh, shit. I'm going to be late for my lunch with D. Oh, man. I not, not, now you realize stuff, that? I can drop you out <laughs> of the store if you want. Sure. Thanks. No, Michael. Thank you for listening. I mean it. Oh, God. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. What a nice thing to say. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Oh, Mrs. Romero boy. sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. All right. Morning. Oh, uh, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. I don't know what she's doing. Cause she said to eat this, right? But like, it's there's no plate. Do I need to find a plate somewhere? But like, is anyone ever gonna clean these up? Nope. There's a plate there, but I can't grab that plate. There's a dirty plate there, but you know that's probably his, and I can't grab that. 
I don't see any reason to go into there. I mean, we can, I guess. Why is that door closed if we can get on both sides of it? Oh. I'll hey, talk Rex. to this guy then. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Oh, okay. Would that be in his locker, or does they have like a mail room? I guess they have a mail room somewhere. That's the interrogation room. Holding cell. We uh, have new rules about civilians hanging around certain parts of the station. Reception booth is out of bounds. Sorry. Well, fair enough. But where did I'm you so put the uh, mailboxes? I really need to finish this before I can break. No, oh, I mean, you're fine. I'm Just not in a rush. Where's the but I mailboxes? Might show up on cobbler in the meantime. <laughs> no, you won't, because that's not an option the game gave you. I guess I could go upstairs. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Nothing yes. really. Just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. Ooh. These look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. <sighs> I mean, we could pretend to go upstairs where we get yelled at by D. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's no. Orders. Sorry. All right. Well, is there a mailbox up here? Nope. Sounds like Eddie's busy. I shouldn't bother him. Where's your mail? <laughs> there we go. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. I don't seem like mail copies, but. I guess they're not a big enough department for. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving that. away. We haven't really talked about it. So now I can take this. After I've dropped. <laughs> Come on, don't nod. What are you guys doing? Ah. <laughs> Chief's putting the fear of God into the <laughs> dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh, I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on. It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Hey, Gregs. Uh, that one. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. And it's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure yeah. everyone will have a great time. Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. Yeah. There's, like, actual things to do there. And there's, like, Drugs, more than 12 why. people there. Property crimes double the national average. I mean... People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. 
All right. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Can I keep eating it or no? Okay. Hey, uh, never mind. Uh, never mind. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Uh... A, a kid. Let me guess. Sure. Some bored kid? Eh. Wrong. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's oh. most wanted turned out to be some trash band of stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Wait, you're gonna interrogate oh, a it's, raccoon? Oh, it's okay. Totally, <laughs> I understand. Duty calls. All right. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up yeah, for missing your I birthday. I missed about three seconds. Here's a collectible I found. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't nope. really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but... Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know yeah. you're doing the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. What? You're honest, stable. You're not in trouble. Right oh, yeah. Totally. I mean... God, God, yo, yeah, I mean... Whoever kills her own mother is just cheese. I... I can't. Just God. They should just be okay? instantly just shot go. and murdered. I need air. Like God. Ah. <laughs> 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 Talk to each other from. Why is he ghosting me? God. Mile, oh, miles you, away. Please stop. Why can't you breathe? <laughs> okay. Okay. I've been here before. This will pass. <sighs> Is this a gameplay mechanic or? Okay. 
Just five times, do we? Just keep going. In and out. Really, guys? <laughs> like, I get what you're going for here, but five times? Why? You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes? Nope. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are going to be like. Or when I'm going to see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're going to be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um, uh, went back to the house and... Got a few things for you. I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, yeah. I just wish... I could forget about it all. Never think about it again. Ever. I understand. Oh, Trust you know. Me, I do. But... Get the person to remember me here and things. change your memories. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? What? 
What do you mean? Something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was. Yeah. They never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts. But don't get stabbed. Move on. <laughs> Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. But I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that, but there's no shame in getting help. Please, just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Nope. I lost it. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Oh, oh hey, I was it's wonderful. remembering the... something earlier. <laughs> I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But hmm. did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any. And there's no. 12 people in the town, I so. Talk to him. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. Almost certainly it is. And not just for Tyler. It's not Eddie to begin with. Me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Out of order, go around. All right. Well, we can look inside. He's here. I'm fine. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <sighs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat. Is all. Yeah, totally. 
Yeah. Yeah, because I knew you had a boat. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, here she is. Wow. It looks very little poly. Man. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul. That seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like I can take her out anyway. They, uh, they want old Sam to, uh, dry out a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that seems sensible. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puke yeah. all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. Uh, where's your brother? Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. All right. <laughs> so, how many times have we talked um, to him? What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? How's the, uh, how's the yeah, house? Yeah, isn't coming that what we're doing? <laughs> Uh, Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Real shame. Yeah. So, um. What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? Uh, I'm fine. I'll just walk today. around. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? You'd think. Oh. That's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. Hmm. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Impressive collection. And you want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh... Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. Why, why am I taking this? <laughs> Warming up with Pixie Engine? Just bank payments. Okay. Okay. What year? No idea. Oh, fourteen. I put a month ago, as far as tell, the only work you've done is test how much beer you can fit on it. I paid you in advance as a favor because I know how you need it, but. Family's family. Alright. God. The 
This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. Alaska ocean oh, raises um, there's flag an article on in today's ocean paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny, spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but we sure as hell are. All right. Hey, you might need this. Good. Oh, it's got cheering for that. See. Should be just about. Uh-huh. Pass me that wrench, will ya? Sam? Are you our father? Figured you'd ask me that question someday. <laughs> well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer oh. is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Is it that guy I met in the pier, then? Not pier. Fairy. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. You must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Okay. When was the last time you cracked a window? <laughs> Heat's on the fritz. Ugh. Come over here. Sit with me. I'm trying. I won't give the button prompt. This? Here. I, uh, kept a few things. Can I? She looks... Happy. Hmm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Yep. Nice graduation cap. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that huh. barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Hmm. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Ellie, are you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that 
It's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Uh, that one. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. <laughs> it stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out one morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. Um. Okay. He's not dead, right? <laughs> I'm like how she just left and just didn't even care. It's like meh. He's not moving, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, achievement. Learn the truth about Sam, okay. Tyler, I've been looking all over Why the place. Why didn't Allie right. come with yeah, Michael? Does Michael Whoa. car? Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... Yeah, well, I got her to thank for that. You know what I think you need right now? A fishing pole. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Um. <laughs> Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing? Yeah, let's go ice fishing. Yeah. Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. 
That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. All right. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Why? Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man. I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just miss hanging what? out. And fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right. Right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh... I'm not sure. Once they left... I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people hmm. who get so close, they're like family. I already have right. a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. Oh, there you, you go. This? Reel them in. Ate a fish. All right. Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. I got it. I got it. <sighs> Slippery little. Effort sound. Oh, got it. <laughs> Bravo. First the subtitle. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. Hey, so the other day you were talking about your Ooh. chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yep. Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so he found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JCE holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. Eh, yeah, sure. I... I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. You got anything good in there? Maybe, but who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine, be that way. Alright, here we go. Oh man, the fishy minigame. <laughs> It's a little more sensitive this time. I'm here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, <laughs> nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, about last night, 
I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. You blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. I mean, All of it. yeah. <laughs> good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start yeah. fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. What? The the second option makes no sense, but I will I'll say it anyways. Yeah, well, I was the kid who killed his mom, and I still found a way to confront my shit. Who's his? I mean, I'm here <coughs> doing the work. Even though every second I've got to fight the urge to run straight back to fireweed, you mean? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured oh. out who I okay, was in there. I, I get it now. But now, I've okay. got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean okay. on me, too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left He's for himself a third person that made no sense I'll to me. I'll keep it in <laughs> Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. More fishing minigame? Alright, you guys just gonna awkwardly stare at each other for the next 30 seconds. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. Don't you say anything. Oh, here we go. Like, surely they realize the animation is pretty dumb here for, um... The fact that you just gotta mash the LT button. Mm, easy. <clears throat> oh. Whoa. Bam. <clears throat> three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little... Hey, disturbed. no achievement. Fish all the fish. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and huh. kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that... That is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. Hard to argue with that, but it's pretty risky, right? I mean, yeah, but you only get so much time. So when I see a chance, I take it, even if he might shoot me down.
Yeah, that all sounds nice, but it's just not me. A true lone wolf? I can respect that. Hey, you've been dangling that line an awful long time. Sure you didn't forget the bait? Here, watch a master at work. Take it away. Hey, you're missing the show. What? <laughs> What's happening? Whoa, careful now. You look like you might be enjoying yourself. <laughs> it's an act. No. But seriously, <laughs> man, this is exactly what I needed. <sighs> Almost. Just missing one tiny thing. Man, Chip, you read my mind. You know Allison refuses to eat anything cold in the winter? Sir Loss, from now on you've got someone to call if you want to fish or slam a pint of Ben and Jerry's in the snow. <laughs> a pint? Uh, small fry. <laughs> we should try to do this again while I'm still in town. No, oh, so For she sure. is here. Okay. You have my number now. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Sorry. Don't be. I'll see you two later. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, you caught three sorry fish. Sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, what is it? <laughs> He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's hmm. still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Alright, yep, there it is. I don't know. 
I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some right. real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. So, why can't I grab the slatter? Is there any particular reason? Do I need to ask her, be like, hey, we need a ladder? Hmm. Hmm. Yep, nope, that's. Nope, that's not a ladder. Alright, moving on. Hmm. What could we use to get up there? <laughs> what do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. Man, this ladder looks really not useful. Let's just not use it. Oh, that's not a button prompt, sorry. Hmm. Right. I thought I saw something red over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. Am I looking for something red? No lever. Man, this place is a mess. If there was ever a time to find a magic portal... Why do we need a lever? The handle should be behind this. Oh, there it is. Now, it's opening up. The secret keeper always that gets to seems all the best secrets in the so clouds. incredibly yep. stupid. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. <laughs> Why can't I just have a hatch with a latch there? Or at the very least, you could just push that up and in, like, you know, how normal addicts work, but all right. It's fine. Okay, so this is the room we saw at the end of the episode two. Okay. Can you see anything? Nope. Nada. Here, found a switch. Shaved a few years off my life. Well, I'm sure the, sure the surgeon did that as well, so. <laughs> Whoa. It's her story. Look. She left us something. It's got a combination lock. You're gonna make me read letters. that freaking book again, aren't you? Do you think she hid the aren't code you? somewhere in all this? I oh, hope it's in the book. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, you wanna do this? As long as it's on that book. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start here. I still don't understand the first puzzle. I <laughs> still have no idea. Hmm. It seems like it's 
not doing anything. Maybe it's broken. You didn't touch it. Or maybe we just need to solve the puzzles in order. We're not done with the other one yet. Oh, there's another one? Alright. Hmm. It looks like that little piece should move, but it's stuck. Okay. I mean, is this one we've solved first? I feel like that's the last puzzle we should solve. Oh, is this the uh, uh, Zen spot? We'll let them oh, this is the collectibles. It's a set down, not sit down. There you go, stalwart moose. I can read. Crafty goblins go here. The moon hag's got to be imprisoned in her lake. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. Well, that's all I found. All right. I have no idea how to collect all of them. I guess I'll figure out in a second playthrough. Why are these pictures from the book that, of goblins but... here? I, I don't know. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the mad hunter. <sighs> the one three zero story? Do I need to read it? It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? What's different? Thirty nine. Goblins tricked the mad hunter. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, <laughs> right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Okay. All right. Spot the differences. So there's not a person drowning here. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Oh boy. Huh. That's also a difference, technically. Yep. Oh, goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the mad hunter. So we saved Marianne from something. But not in this version? There's no way in the forest. The princess is running away from the mad hunter. Who was sent by the gold lady. According to the story, there's a town in the background. Castle in the background. See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home. And she grew up kinda rich? I mean, those, those two are still there. I don't see any difference, any noble difference there, at least. Well, I select there. Once upon a time, there was a young princess who felt hopeless. It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? What? Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures I of can't Marianne just worry, I've Sir Burns. Burns the hanging on the walls. It's not like it's 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 not you, it's me. But the truth is, I've just been too much to deal with, and I've realized I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with all this on our own. With your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things could be different. 
but the damage is done, and it's probably too late for that now. I'm so sorry, raised person, and you made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this. Sorry, part. It was cliches. Please don't stop everything you are, Brent. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Nope. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not <laughs> her. Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. I feel like it'd be more wrinkled if someone crumpled it up and tried to throw it away, but alright. You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? Probably. I guess so. It makes sense. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to what solve this light? one next. This one? Alright. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. What does choosing it do? Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos. All right. They? Well, some of them ah, do okay, anyway. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she was having any fun. Okay. What angle would that be? Cruel parents kept her locked away in their musty palace. It's a parrot. Is there a parrot on the um this board? Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. Uh... I mean, she said, or he said the they're wealthy, looks so... Like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Wait. No, she wanted to be... An engineering mate, or she didn't want to be an engineering major. Okay. Oh god, which one of these stores, Sam? Is that? I don't know which one's Sam. I think it's that one. Hmm. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? Is that it? It's opening. Cool. What's in there this time? Alright. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. 1992, 2500, nice phone number, Tammy. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's hmm. so young and happy. That's the house. 
I think. I mean, it's gotta be. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Three stranger kid looking Looks for like answers to questions. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. Hmm. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom yeah. Queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? Oh, there's two. Didn't see there were two pages of it. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Ah, I miss watch. All right. Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest, her father. Hope it's not fine to you, but since you didn't leave any contact information, I'll have to send it to your aunt and hope for the best. I am writing to inform you that your mother has passed away last week. It's like 96, okay. We just had our funeral reception. The house has been filled with people all day. Friends, family, colleagues, church members since 11 p.m. And I'm sitting alone at the kitchen table, surrounded by dozens of trays of food. Flowers, sip the cards, your cousin... A-80? I-80? I, I, I don't know how to say that. Brought in a beautiful photo, album, of our holiday pictures at the corner. You're there and all of them, but you weren't here today. We haven't heard from you in four years. And I can only hope you, um, you made it to Alaska or wherever. I think you're both safe. Your mother has been sick and depressed for years. And you can imagine why. The pain being shown by our daughter, blah, 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 blah. All the suffering s simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting our help when you got pregnant and out of wedlock after dropping out of college and without a penny to your name. She only stepped up to because she knew you weren't ready to raise a child properly, Marianne. A mother's duty doesn't end when her children leave home. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you will bring to understand that good parenting isn't about cuddling children, coddling, cuddling, whatever. It's about preventing them from shaping, providing for them and shaping them into the people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. I won't trouble you again, but you made your intentions clear. I thought you should know. Dad. Alright. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Wait. Do we have a long-lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Probably not digging. wrong. All right, so I assume the third puzzle's already. Oh. This just lit up, so well, I think I think I, think I know what the next. um how to solve that one, but let's go and solve the puzzle first. What's this. Hmm. Some sort of map? What on earth? Any you ideas? Need help? Yeah. I'm yes. Stuck. Any ideas? <laughs> I'm trying to make sense of the castle on the bottom left corner. Well, it's like we were saying. The gold lady lived in one, so it probably represents Marianne's childhood home. This is the princess's house. No. That's the gold lady's castle. Okay. Um. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. I don't know if that matters or not. I'll deselect it. 
This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Some sort of clock? I seem like I connect somehow. This is the princess's house. What Do you mean select all of them? Damn it. Why is nothing happening? Is it an order or something? Does the order I select it matter? Yes. Oh boy, okay. She took a drawer and ran to the forest. I'm pretty sure everything in the stash was dated. Why don't we go take another look? Okay. I like the idea. Everything in the other stash problem? Hold on. So this letter... Both of her parents kind of sound like jerks. I would have run away too. I see it. 1996. I think we already had a conversation. Okay. Okay. Salmon. Is there a year on here? 1992. Yeah. Okay, so Is that's that some kind four. of four. Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community. That happening. Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Well, there's not a year on that one. I can say that much for certainty. Or that one. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. So watchmaker... 1992, 810. What, what year was this? Or what month was it? Salmonberry Park. Huh. June. Is that some kind of so that's six. Like so that is it's so weird to imagine before watch. Like that with, you know, other okay, people. so the flower watch is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole time? No wonder that letter comes us. into play. So I think that's our house there. That's their house? When's the dinner party? So the dinner party wasn't dated. Wow. I don't know if this is relevant at all. I don't think I've ever seen no. a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Yeah, there's not a year on that. He's so young. I can't pick it up and turn it over. I mean, that's in Devil's Cross, and so therefore it should be after the house. If I can't, oh, right. That's why I couldn't turn around. Alright. So. That's the gold castle. 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 No, that doesn't make any sense. No, okay. So I'm assuming the letter's in the castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, the, some sort of clock? That's the gold lady's castle. This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner. Come on. What's wrong? Is that not our house currently? I got the clock in the right order, right? Yeah, because that was June, that was 7, 8. So that's fine. The letter was 1996. This I looks like a dinner party this. with the old bear. This is the princesses. Come on. You need help? 
Yeah, I'm stuck. Yeah. Any ideas? That's our house in the top right corner, isn't it? It has yeah. to be. Hold on. When yeah. did she buy the house again? Why don't we go back and check the dates? So you're saying that the house is that letter? Okay. So if you're saying that, let's me just deselect that. That's the and we'll go bang. castle. What's that bang. plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely some sort of bang. Clock. This is the princess bang. house. This looks like a bang. dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Okay. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? O L E. The princess's loss. Is this from the book of goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. Once upon a time in the ancient forest, there was a wise princess in a big wooden house. She made it through the woods and to that house with nothing left but her clothes on her back and a single item from her old life. A splendid tiara. She, she lost almost everything in her desperate flight from the mad hunter. The trees tore the rucksack from her back and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all, she clutched the tiara to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause her to fall back, to fall from her arms and break. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house, a pillow near the window where the sun would catch on the surface to shine and wink. The princess could stare at it for hours, stare at the tiara, marveling in its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing it to the surface. Blah blah blah. Because after all, that once Prince of that crown, every night she would place it on the pillow, give it a kiss, and go to bed. On her way. Okay. Oh, good God. My princess broke to a raging storm. The wind hollowed against the walls, rattling the windows and the panes. Fearing a gust burst the pillow. All through the night she held the tiara close in the morning, she worked herself cradling it. Does this matter at all? I mean, I know this is like her actual life, but... And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. Well, I guess she forgot it broke. Emily thought something was wrong in the living room. Charlie probably ground broken, dull, and faded. Nothing else changed. The pillow was exactly where she had left it. The window was closed. There had been a storm. No storm. No wind. No sign of anything that could have gone amiss. Only the broken Tara muted upon the ground. She picked it up and held it in her arms with a guttural cry. But though she try to fix it and polish it. It was gone beyond repair with no shine left. Princess Tara through the day into the next night, sitting in the same spot in the window where she used to polish it. When the sun rose, looked aside her gaze fixed upon the sapling. She remembered how the sapling had survived the winter, changing to life despite frozen, unforgiven earth. Not a word. Okay. Okay. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her time. That vase? That was the story she read us that night. God. It oh. makes sense now. Yeah. She got pregnant. Oh. Okay. And. She ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I 
can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on, but when it looked like we were gonna be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her, and now I do. Yeah, but we still haven't seen what's in that chest. All right, O-L-E. Okay, so right. how do we open it? Oh. L-O-E. Right? L-E-O? Leo. Oh. All right, should be easy enough. Did it just get darker in here? Yeah. Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. Dear Alice and Ollie, we write stories to understand and be understood. But what is a good story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept you from mine for so long. All my love, goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? What, tr what tree is that? <laughs> okay. Huh. Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Yeah. Allie... Did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's I mean, clearly it happened. was addressed to you. <laughs> Even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. Do we have to? <laughs> You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Fine, I'll I guess put we the, could stay the collectible a little longer down. If you think there's more to find? I'll put the collectible down. Jeez. Where you want it? Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. There. I mean, that's about all we're gonna get out of this place. I wish she just explained all this to us. All right. You really want to go? You yep. sure we've seen everything? It's not that big of a room. Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. I'm Let's running. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with.
almost. We're really hoping it's the guy from the pier, or not the pier, the ferry. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. What? It what? had to be him. Tessa what? Did, didn't she? Yeah, she she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What? <laughs> what should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Interesting. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. Yeah, I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <laughs> yes. You knew how bad it Why? got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was gonna blow up in my face. I had to do something. Are you the voice? So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. How? Uh, oh, let's do the X button prompt first, and then I'll do the A button. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't I mean... decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. Explains how Tessa knew, I guess. Hey. You hearing me? Yep. Sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. He's not even the least bit sorry for what he did. He could have seriously hurt you. Yeah, he's just a fucking coward. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ali. I mean, too fair. Think about it. He did stab her. <laughs> Mm. 
You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This I figured her. Tessa didn't know. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. How would... It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, <laughs> we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was on Appreciate. Hinge. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. And you just couldn't risk being there when it happened. Even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. None of this would have happened if you'd manned the fuck up. I didn't have a choice. I know it shouldn't have happened. Well, your mother was a very pretty woman. <laughs> and she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's You're afraid it'll from take that's, his campaign. That's the entire town. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Oh, a little yeah. story about self-defense. I mean, I've never told anyone how Mary had really died. Yeah, if he was that there, he would have known I that came she, out killed here because I or she killed her. She killed her mother. <laughs> oh, good God. Yeah, all right. I mean, don't.
Okay. No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I no, saw. No, I mean, I believe <gasps> that. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart no, I, about I this, I completely Allison. believe that. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <laughs> No, I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. I mean, you're definitely Tyler and I right, need to talk but alone. just I have think twice no problem before making any rash here. decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone and never come back. Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I mean, he is. <laughs> I've been having all of these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep She's getting not. things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are well, just details. Title, yeah. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore. Tyler. Why? <laughs> I guess to be fair to tell her, why would she have a gun at all there? Yeah, like, I don't know why she would bring the gun with her. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she yeah. was going to kill me. Don't agree with that part of it, but... She threatened Tom with those exact same words. Yeah. With the same gun on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? 
guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Here's the problem with this. You. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm because not gonna hurt you. this is what happened. However, I have I don't wanna not, not gonna say that you. Tom. to do here because <laughs> this is what happened but my fear is that we select you. this and we're just pretend nothing's happened I'm not hurt you. however if we go with the incorrect version then we're that that's how we actually tell everybody what happened with Tom, he'll say his version, obviously. I'm not gonna hurt you. Huh. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Huh. I guess it's not a pause or not. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to pick here. Because, like, again, like, Tom's version is correct. That's what happened. I completely agree that, that, that that's what happened. But, I would rather the ending of us believing our own fake version of the truth. Oh. <laughs> it's like it's not it's not a decision between which is correct and which isn't. That's obvious. That is completely obvious. But Oh god. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know what I'll do here. I mean this is this is the end of the game. This is absolutely the end of the game here.
I think I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna hurt you. Cause that's correct. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> that's the problem. It's correct, but it's not. It's not the one I want to do. I mean, look what's one is correct at this point. I don't care anymore. Because it's correct. Even if I don't... Not together. <laughs> we, interrupted her and we we got confused. Are you sure? Did not piece that together. <laughs> that attic, Tyler. No, I, that was meant for us. It no, was it, her it way of, sense. of explaining what she was going through. It completely I makes sense, mistake. but well, I mean. Hey, that effect hey, is... It's okay. I'm here. The exact same. She's still dead, regardless if you killed her or she killed herself. <laughs> you know, like... If someone's out trouble for breaking or push them, you know, it's not a good thing to do, obviously, but... It's the same as if you didn't help the person on the bridge. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Will it have aged well, or just gone bad? <laughs> Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that a lot. And <laughs> we were kids. Yep. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? Hm. I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning... I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. Huh. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us... us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, 
he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. Six months later, all right. One last look, and I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his hmm. whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Oh, nice. Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face Man. whenever you went in for a block? Yeah, he lost eight to four. <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, think I should swing by the store for one final fuck off? See you never, Vecchies. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Alice mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. <laughs> hey, Goblins, more time to find a house. I can buy, see what needs fixing. 
I can always start around. Sam, alright. is so weird, but at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. Oops, I want to take that. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon? For posterity. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. should pick up Allison's stuff on my way out. Turns out you didn't need our help losing the election, Tom. left? I don't think so. This is goodbye for real, I guess. Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. 
Tyler Ronan? I, uh, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. Twins for life, all right. Hmm. Lock up and go. So I got two different ending achievements? Weird. We'll look at the achievement list before I talk about the game more quickly. chamber find out the mailbox bandit really was oh well start writing a new chapter with Allison okay how do I do that fail the panic attack app don't tell Eddie you're the one. Well, yeah, did that. Did that. Broke open the chest, really. And then keep remembering that Marianne's gonna kill you. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, yeah, I mean. The story of the game was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> there's probably about well, the start of both well, this episode and the first episode. A lot of random filler for seemingly no real reason. That just didn't. That just wasn't interesting. Now I get you want to develop the characters, but that just wasn't very exciting <laughs> to start this episode. It's also the very beginning of the game. But um, other than that, very good story. Yeah, you know, the mechanics of the game, not bad at all. You know, you got, got some nice puzzles in there. That were about the lore of the game. The remember me slash every, everyone's gone the rapture. Mechanics were kind of interesting. It's a, it's a good way to tell a story. And like, the the political transgender thing wasn't really the focus of the story, and that's excellent. You know, if you're gonna mess around with religion and politics in a video game, don't make it the entire focus of the entire story. Whereas here it basically wasn't. Yes, it was 
major role in it, but it wasn't the entire part. Unlike the second game, which was just everyone's a racist. <laughs> and we should go to Mexico because there you won't get arrested for a crime you didn't commit, I guess. But yeah, honestly, really good game. Really good story. Yeah, I definitely love better in the second game. I'll probably pl replay uh, before the Storm for this channel at some point. Hopefully next, and just see why I think why why I love that game, and see where it's better than this one. But like overall, this game is pretty pretty solid, pretty solid. I wish the um what the voice mechanic had more of an effect, because you can only release it, what, twice? The first time, I didn't even know what it was, what it was. I was trying to, I thought it was, you can say something louder, which, you know, would be interesting. It'd be cool to add tone to your responses. I don't know of any game that does that, because that could be pretty cool. You know, how you say something also depends on your tone, but, yeah. Definitely a really solid game. Yeah, I mean, the Life Strange and Force Storm are obviously better, but that's mainly due with you had more characters that are built probably a bit better. And you had the rewind mechanic in the first game that was actual gameplay to solve puzzles, which this game had its puzzles, and they fit well with the story, but I, I just love the rewind mechanic. Like, the rewind mechanic is just so cool. As well as, like, the, um... In the Fort Storm, the Chloe back backtalk ability. That's also really cool. I... I honestly, all, all three of these mechanics fit very well for the game that we're in. And this is a really solid game. It's really solid. <laughs> yeah, you can force it open. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Two third, or yeah, a third of people went with Twins memory, which is weird because it clearly isn't right, but. You can like. I wonder how you do that. Huh. I have no idea how you do that. Alright, we didn't confess the truth to Eddie about the murder. It's fine. Confirmed to Sam's addiction. Huh. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for um for this game. Tell me why. Oh, I guess I'll see you guys in where I do next. Could be before the storm, or it could be actually um. What's that game I've recorded about twenty episodes for? Haven't actually released anything for. It's not Celeste. Crosscode, yeah. Crosscode's coming to the channel eventually. Uh, but I might do before the storm before that. We'll just see. But yeah, this is a 
really good game, really good story. I'll be curious to see how much your choices even matter in this story. I mean, clearly it matters at some point, even if it is just episode 3. But yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.